Thanks for watching WCCO and CBSN Minnesota. Minneapolis voters chose Mayor Jacob Fry for a second term. He's leading a city that has faced riots, a pandemic, and an exodus of police officers during a rise in crime. Two weeks after his re-election, the mayor spoke one-on-one -on -one with Esme Murphy. He calls the election a turning point and is convinced he'll be able to work better with the newly elected Minneapolis City Council. He also insists the city, as a whole, is safe. Is Minneapolis a safe city? Minneapolis is a safe city, and simultaneously, we are dealing with a very significant increase in crime, and specifically violent crimes. And let's be very clear, that is not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. But right now, people don't feel safe. I've talked to more people, mostly women, who won't get gas in Minneapolis anymore. I know somebody who lives in North Minneapolis that just moved his bedroom to the basement because of the gunshots that go on. What do you say to people like that? Well, these are the real stories that people are dealing with every single day. We need safety beyond policing, and we need true reform. But, but that all takes time. It I does. think people are saying, the right crisis now. is now. They need help right now. Yes, we have the five new recruiting classes that should and hopefully will be coming on next year, uh, but people can't wait that long. Mayor so Fry says the city, which is currently down 300 officers, is getting help from other departments, the FBI and ATF, and resources are being concentrated in key areas. We are seeing around 90 percent of the gun violence focused on around five neighborhoods in our whole city. The city is currently getting pushback on social media from property tax increases that have just been mailed out. A lot of people are wondering if they should be paying a lot more in property taxes with all that's going down in the city. So much of it depends on whether the valuation of the home itself has gone up or down. That's actually not a decision that we are able to make at the city level. That's the state law. The mayor's overall optimistic outlook shifts when he is denouncing a string of anti-Semitic graffiti and symbols that have been appearing several times a week outside his home. There's um, either anti-Semitic stuff plastered outside on our windows, or the post, or the, the doorway. We will not be intimidated by that kind of garbage. Now, because Minneapolis voters approved the strong mayor amendment, Mayor Fry will be the most powerful mayor in decades. And he hopes one of his first actions when he is sworn in in January is to be able to reappoint police chief Medaria Arredondo. Fry wants him back, but he also says it is Chief Arredondo's decision, Frank. Well, that'll be interesting. Uh, as we sat down with the new city council members yesterday, yeah. how do they feel about working with the mayor under this new strong mayor? You deal? know, it, it's interesting because three of them are openly declared democratic socialists. Right. They all say they want to work with the mayor and they want to work with each other, and I think mm -hmm. everybody wants that. Well, let's hope. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yes. Yeah. All right, thanks.